Hey guys, I'm new to um music in YouTube. Uh, I ha you, most of you guys are probably here from my airsoft account, which uh, I'm very happy that you are. But um, I just wanted to start fresh with um a music account, and um, this is gonna be my first video. But I decided to make it useful, and it's gonna be a tutorial on making a lead synth in FL Studio with stock sounds. Stock sounds. Now, something that I really get upset about is nobody has any good tutorials on how to make a good stock FL Studio synth. Nobody. And this is not just going to be like one synth itself, it's going to be all the synths and how to make it work and sound good together. Because if you make one synth, it's always going to sound pretty bad. Um, so the first thing that you're going to want to do in FL Studio is just pull up, um, you know, in the little thing, I don't know what it's called, but button up here. Um, anyway, so this is definitely going to be uh, where you work with everything, and then you're going to put all your patterns into the big um, song area. So um, I'm just going to show you guys what the synth will sound like um, soloed, and then in a song. So I'm just going to kind of play it to here, uh, to right here, and then you guys can just see... Um, what it sounds like. Um, in the beginning, it's just not going to have anything behind it, then it's going to have a piano behind it at the very end. Okay, so that is what the synth will sound like in the end. I apologize because the audio is probably not the best right now. But um, what you're going to do to make that is you're going to want to pull up um, four things. You're going to want to pull up three OSC, Citrus, Harmless, three OSC again, and uh, it's actually five things, and FL keys. So the first thing that you're going to do in 3XOC is you're going to want to make all of the waves saw waves. So um, it'll make it a saw. And then you're going to want to go to your stereo D2 and go ahead and find that. And you're going to want to get that to 5 cents on the first oscillator. On the second oscillator, you want it to be at negative 10 cents. On the third oscillator, you want it to be at plus 5 cents again. Oh, that'll thicken up the lead. You guys probably can't hear that because it's really quiet right now. I apologize. But, um, next what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to your INS tab. And you're going to want to make sure you have volume selected. And you're going to want to turn the um, attack all the way down. You're going to want to turn the hold all the way down and just leave it like that. Uh, it'll make it a bit punchier. And then you want to turn the pitch up just a bit. Um, I turned it up right here um, to plus seven cents. So um, once you've done that, you want to go to function, um, fat mode, and then you want to go to echo delay. Yeah, fat mode, so you don't do anything to it. And then you want to turn your feed down to 49% your modulation X all the way up, your mod Y in the middle, your pitch in the middle, your time all the way down, and your pan in the middle. Um, and when you're done, it will sound like this. I know that's really quiet right now, I'm sorry, but um, the levels aren't very high for that one. The next one is going to be super simple. Um, hands up. And that is a preset on harmless under leads. And that will sound like this. So, like, that's what that sounds like. Uh, that's the main thing. Then I have, um, like, a hard distortion kind of synth. It's not even that hard. Um, this is just a preset. And this is C S C Y T H E 2 And that is in Citrus. And that is under, I believe, pads. Uh, yes, it is under pads. Um, somewhere. Yeah, right here. 
and um, it's a great synth. It really is. Um, if it adds a bit more thickness, and then 3x OSC, I added one saw, two saw oscillators, and one noise oscillator. I didn't do anything else to it. And then what I did is I assigned it a mixer track and I leveled them all out, I, which means I adjusted the volume to make it sound right. So um, all together in this layer, it sounds like this. I'm sorry if that like blasted the volume, um, but now I'm gonna go to the mixer tracks and show you what I did. So I put a mixer track on. The, only the hands up, and I just put a sound goodizer on it um, because this was the most important. So I turned up the volume, got sound goodizer on A all the way up, and an EQ. I just EQ'd it, so I turned the bass up a little bit, mid a little bit, and I turned the treble up a bit more um, just so you could hear it better. Now, this is what really makes the bass sound thick because if you listen to it right here, um, it's not really going to be that thick, it's going to be kind of thin. But then if you listen to it right here, it sounds a bit better, more like, you know, what the synth should sound like. And that is because I added my FL keys behind it. So the FL keys are a stock plugin in FL Studio. You can insert them, and um, the layer sounds like this. It's not really that special, but um, all I did was I just turned the hardness up. Uh, like almost 75%. I get you guys could just uh, do that on your own, whatever sounds good. Velocity all the way up, muffle all the way down. I assigned it a mixer track. The mixer track has just a sound geyser to make it a little bit punchier on A all the way up again. Um, now, you guys are probably wondering, um, like, what makes this sound so good. Just even if you have done this, it probably won't sound like this. Um, what you need to do is you need to find out your pattern with just like one you know like one key you don't want to do octaves anything just simple pattern and then what you can do is you can copy it and paste it in octaves so it it's a little bit thicker like this one these are just octaves and then what I did is I did the same exact thing except instead of putting them in octaves I put them on different notes to make chords and I only did that with the piano but you should probably do that with um all of your synths and then you have to layer them because otherwise they won't sound very good and then your final product like i said so i hope you guys like this video um this is going to be my first video on the new channel so thank you guys for watching um and i'll see you next time